Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So today we're going to be discussing picking products for Q4. Um, obviously Q4 is about two and a half weeks now away, so it's very close. Um, so if you are on the fence, by the way, about starting an e-commerce business, then I would get started sooner rather than later. Um, anyway, in this video, I'm going to take you through how to pick products to sell into Q4 um, and go through, I'm going to show you three of my favorite kind of, I call it product validation, and it's kind of three different ways in which you can check whether the product is a good one to sell or not by validating it through looking at different websites, different numbers um, to see if it's actually in demand um, and whether it will actually sell or not. So Q4 is obviously a very important time of year um, if you're an e-commerce business owner. Not only do you have those people um, buying things for Christmas presents, we obviously have Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up as well. Um, if you look at the online sales kind of year on year for the past sort of 15 years, I think the screenshot I found, I'll put it up on screen, you can see that it's just increasing year on year on year. Year. And if you ask me, I think this year is going to be bigger and better than ever, more so um, than it usually would um, because of the coronavirus. Obviously, with shops and things shutting down, those people who traditionally would go into store to buy things have now been forced to buy online. And some of them will stay buying things online once they experience it, once they see how much easier it is, how much time they can save. Um, and how convenient it is, I think a lot of those people will continue to shop online making Q4 um, 2020 bigger and better than ever. The next point I wanna say as well before we, very, um, jump, before we jump into the video is that the product you pick is arguably the most important part of your business. Um, if you are one of those people who likes to kind of chop and change between products, um, selling those seasonal trending products if you like. The reason being is because I've seen pretty basic looking Shopify stores that just use say like a free debut theme um, do really well and generate six figures plus. I've seen pretty average Facebook video ads. In fact, when I first started, um, I used to film my um, video ads on my iPhone and they did really well. Some of them did bad, but some of them did really well. So you can get away with a average ad as long as it's targeted at the right audience. But what you can't get away with is picking um, a bad product. It doesn't matter how good your store is, um, how good your ad is, how good the audience is. If you don't sell a product, if you don't advertise a product that people want to buy, nobody's gonna buy it and obviously your business is going to fail. And with that being said then guys, um, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm gonna show you three different product validation techniques you can use to kind of put any product, um, go through the steps I'm gonna show you in this video and it'll tell you whether it's a good product to sell now for Q4 or not. Um, and that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Apologize for the long intro. Um, I just wanted to make those two points crystal clear before we moved on because it's quite important. Um, I wanted to create a sense of urgency as well. A lot of people leave things to the last minute and then they'll miss the boat on Q4. Um, the cutoff, I mean, you'll have to ask your suppliers individually because it'll be different depending on what shipping method you're using, depending on what country you're shipping to. But in my experience, it's usually kind of towards the end of November in which the cutoff is for Christmas deliveries. So even if you start selling today, then if you are going to drop ship only, then you only really have the next two and a half months um, to make the most of. Plus, you've got to imagine those first two to three weeks are going to be product testing time. So it might take you a month just to find that one product that sells, which will only leave you with about seven or eight weeks to actually properly capitalize on um, unless you start ordering um, and sourcing your products in bulk, of course. So with that being said, um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it. And let's jump straight into um, technique number one. So technique number one is really straightforward. It's really simple. It's free. Um, it takes uh, literally 30 seconds and the amount of information you can get about pretty much any product um, is really, really valuable. So if you are one of those people that likes to jump on different trends and test different products um, quite frequently, um, then Google Trends needs to be your best mate. So. Just a quick introduction then for those people who've never used it. Um, basically what it will tell you or the information it gives you is number one at the top is how popular a particular search term is. It gives you the interest for that search term by different regions. You can go worldwide, US, UK. Obviously just make sure that when you are looking at the information, you're looking at the right country, the country um, that you want to be shipping to. Um, and then at the bottom as well, um, I've used this quite a lot actually that is it's a really good place to look to get ideas so you can get related queries and if it says this breakout next to it it basically means there's been kind of like a surge in popularity for that particular search term so for example if you were going into the home workout niche instead of being really broad um, and covering home workout as a whole you could perhaps focus on um, a particular product which would help somebody work out their arms at home 
This though, the reason I wanted to show you the home workout niche is because in my opinion, it's a dying trend right now. We can see, so this is the past 12 months in the UK, there was a huge spike um, at the beginning of March, obviously because of lockdown, gym shut, people were forced to work out at home. So obviously there was a huge spike, which we can see in popularity, um, people searching for home workouts, um, home workout equipment and so on. But as we can see, as we've kind of come out of lockdown, gyms have started to open up. Then the popularity, as we can see, has started dying down. So if you put your particular product or your niche into Google Trends and it looks something like this, it's on a downward spike, then your customer base essentially is gonna be getting smaller because there's gonna be less and less people looking for that particular product. To show you a good example then, um, we have bike lights. This is in the UK in the past five years. As we can see, if I can highlight it here, it says a 93 next to the bike light. So out of 100%, then this is basically in the top 10% in terms of popularity for this particular search term in the past five years. Now it's fairly common sense and why it'd be so popular now as the nights start getting darker. People will have to start commuting to work in the dark. If they commute to work on a bike, they need a decent bike light. Um, same thing for when they come home at night as well. It usually gets dark in the UK when the clocks go back sort of in October time, um, around 4 p.m. So people are coming home from school, they're coming home from work in the dark, and if they're on their bike, they're going to need a bike like. So we can see that kind of around this time of year, the popularity of this search term always starts to increase and get really popular. So this would be a good example, a great example, in fact, of a particular product that you could go out and sell in Q4 because the popularity for it is going to be at an all-time high. Next up, technique number two is the product analysis tool in the AliExpress dropshipping center. A lot of people don't know this even exists, so I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of how to use it. We have a great product example here. So let's say you come across a product on AliExpress and you wanna go through the different product validation techniques to see if it's a good one to sell. So once you found the product, what you wanna do is simply copy the product page link, um, head into your AliExpress dropshipping center, go to the product analysis section, and paste the link in there, hit analyze. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you the past two weeks sales volume day to day. Now, if we head back to the product page, we can see there's a total amount of orders of 1400. What we're looking for then is a daily order amount of plus 1%, so over 1%. So 1% of 1400 orders is approximately 14 per day. So if we head back to the product analysis, we can see 30 per day, 30, 30, big spike up to 90, 100, 60, 60, 60, 50, 10, 40, and so on. So as we can see, this particular product is averaging about 2% per day, which is a great sign, double that 1%, which I mentioned. So 1% is your benchmark. If a product is selling more than that per day on a daily basis, um, then that's a really good sign because the reason this is so important and you need to check this is you can come across products on AliExpress, which will have 20,000 orders, but if you go into the dropshipping center, the product analysis tool, um, paste your URL in, and it's less than 1% of those total is the daily order amount, then what it shows is at the current moment in time, there's a low demand for that particular product. Whereas with the products like this, we can see 1400 orders, over 2% daily sales order volume. What that illustrates is there is currently, as I stand and sit here right now and record this video, there's a really strong demand for this particular product. And what it also does as well is it gives you an idea to the potential behind a particular product. So even if you come across a product that is getting that 1% per a day but that's still at say five orders per day then five orders per day isn't that exciting versus a product that's getting say 200 orders per day so obviously the one that's getting 200 per day um, there's a lot more potential behind that product there's a lot more space and ability to scale that to bigger numbers so just keep those things in mind when you are using the product analysis tool um, of the aliexpress drop shipping center <laughs> The third and final product validation technique I wanted to show you guys then um, is simply using Facebook itself. This obviously this is where we're going to be advertising. Um, so it's a good place to look for past feedback on the products that you want to sell. So for example, if you head onto Facebook, um, go to the watch section and just search for the particular products that you want to sell. Um, look at the videos, look at the comments. Um, and this is where kind of like the most critical information will lie because if you can get direct feedback from customers, from people who have already seen an ad about the particular products you want to sell and, it's, and they're good comments, then obviously that is 
hardcore evidence there's no denying it that people like that product and people want to buy the product so once you've found the video just have a quick flick through the comments as you can see this particular product let's just play it for a few seconds so you can see what it is um, has a crazy amount of engagement so 10k reactions 3.7k comments um, and what this technique is also really good for too is um, Facebook ad inspiration. So if you are struggling for content or ideas um, of how to create your ads or what your ads um, should look like, what good ones look like, then obviously this is a really great way of um, getting some inspiration. So if we just have a quick flick through the comments then, I want to try one of these, positive, um, looks good, positive, wild, positive. Um, a legitimate question about the product, which is positive because it shows they have a genuine interest before they actually buy. Someone's just put, simply put cool, they're tagging their friends, which is good. Um, should we give it a try? I need this, so it's all positive. People are really interested at the moment. And then if we have a look at this particular comment from Claire, I've got one there, fab and make your room smell amazing, I recommend. And as you can see, 56 reactions, a really good product. And there's no denying this is a good product. People are interested in it. People are actually buying it. There's actually a comment there which proves somebody has bought this product, um, which is just a great sign. These are all the kind of different triggers, the kind of different validations and pieces of evidence that you're looking for behind a product um, to decide Decide whether it's a good one to sell or not and with that being said then guys that is the three different product validation techniques I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do me the favor of simply leaving a like on the video um, any comments or questions anything you want to ask me directly simply post it down below I will read it and I will respond to you please do make sure you subscribe as well for regular content of course if you did enjoy the video and finally then before you go if you are looking for a particular e-commerce course on Shopify that will teach you um, everything you saw in this video plus more plus it comes with my full support and guidance pretty much everything that you see on your screen now um, please do check out my ecom academy um, there will be a link in the video description below and with that being said thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one